Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you are doing well. My name is Victor from Majesty's House of Music. I'll be taking you through the acoustic guitar lessons. Now, we have come up with an acoustic guitar uh, beginner's course. Uh, in this course, I'm just taking you through uh, some very basic tips on the guitar. Remember, this course is for you who wants to kickstart your journey playing the guitar or you who just wants to learn how to play your favorite songs. I've included some very basic lessons in the course, the major chords, the minor chords, and also some techniques, uh, the finger picking technique. I've covered dominant seventh chords plus a lot more. So uh, this course is really good for you who wants uh, to, to just get the feel of the guitar just to begin uh, your musical journey on the guitar. Uh, and the good thing with the course is that I've also included uh, some practical song examples where you can apply uh, the concepts that I've shown you in the class. And after this class, you'll be ready. Uh, you'll be able to play uh, some songs and you'll be ready now to uh, go to the next level, the intermediate level. So I hope that you have fun uh, going through these lessons and also you learn a lot uh, so that we move to the next level, the intermediate level. Thank you. Hi guys, so on this lesson today, I'm going to show you parts of the guitar and we'll also do some warm-up exercises on uh, holding some notes on the fretboard. So, the guitar is divided into three uh, subsections. We have the headstock, we have the neck, and we have the body. Now, on the headstock, we have the tuning pegs or simply the tuners. They are used for tuning the guitar. And then, in between the headstock and the neck, we have the nut. The function of the nut is simply to direct the strings to the uh, tuners. And then now on the neck, we have the frets. These metallic parts uh, along your neck, they are the frets. And then, uh, this wooden part is called the fingerboard or the fretboard. It's where you hold down now the notes as you are playing on the fingerboard or the fretboard and then we have of course the body on the body we have hey guys i hope you are doing well with the practice in the last class we checked out uh, how to how to play some notes on the fretboard uh, we were playing one note uh, we were playing individual notes on the fretboard but in this class i want us to look at uh, some basic open chords now a chord is simply a group of notes that are related. That is the simplest definition I can give you. A chord is simply a group of notes that are related. So compared to the last class where we were doing one note at a time, today we are going to do several notes. Uh, we are going to play them together and they make up a chord. Now, uh, you remember we said that uh, this is finger number one, number two, number three and number four. Now, there are specific fingers that you use when you are holding down a chord. The first chord we want to check out is the G major chord. We are doing uh, the major chords, basic open major chords, and in the next class we shall do minor chords. So, uh, in this class we are doing major chords, and the first chord we are checking out is the G major chord. Holding down a G major chord, you use your ring finger to hold a fret 3 of the low E string, this note here and then you use finger number two uh, to play the second fret a string and then you use your pinky or your little finger to play the third fret of the high e string this note and of course there are some notes in between we have this note you you also play it the d string open when I say open, it means that you don't fret any note on the D string, you just play it as it is.
Hi guys, welcome again to another lesson of our beginner's guitar series. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play the song You Say by Lauren Daigle. The song is in the key of F major. And so I'm using my capo on the fifth fret so that we can be able to play it using easy beginner chords. And with, with the capo on the fifth fret, we are going to play it now using chords from the key of C. The progression for this song is 1, 3, 6, 4. 1, 3, 6, 4. Remember, uh, we said the number one chord in the key of C is the C major itself. And then the number three is the E minor. Number six is the A minor. And the number four is the F major chord. So now, this song can be played using finger style, using finger picking, and it can also be played using uh, strumming patterns. But we'll start with the strum patterns and then later on we'll look at the finger picking. So now, at this stage, I just want you to 